Hi, I'm Joost, the Content Decoder, and today I'm looking at my Zoic and Affiliate Income Report for October 2023, and I'll dive into my full P&L. Revenue is a bit down from last month, but October is always a slow month for me, especially for my toy website, as people are waiting for Christmas and Black Friday to buy stuff. The ad income from Zoic is still running strong, just about $1,500 a bit, but the affiliate revenue has declined quite a bit. Now here's my Zoic income, I'm showing you exactly what I earned, and I'll share my costs. In a minute, but my bond is still my largest side with $765 as income. Then my cat side, which gets traffic from Facebook predominantly, also a nice little income. And then a few smaller sides. I have my PL, Amazon US is $660, and Bolton.com, the larger retailer in the Netherlands, so I'm making $29. Then my own products, $9.94, so it's not that much, um, but that's my cookbook on Amazon. Then Zoic, $1,550. Then other affiliate programs, nothing at the moment, but some of the pro these programs need to accrue a little bit before they can pay out. So I get a nice little payout once in a few months. And then other Amazon storefronts, $614, because my sites are quite international. And YouTube, also the same as the other affiliate program. I don't earn enough for a payout each month, but I get paid every other month. That's a total income of $3,065. The costs were $1,369, so this leaves, leaves a nice profit of $1,695. The costs are pretty stable at under $1,000, but I made some one-time investments in products that I wanted to review, especially for the Amazon Influencer Program, as well as for my site. Last month's costs were accounting, $139. Content, $383. And that was for my newsletter. I was giving my newsletters one more try and pay a professional in paid newsletters on Upwork to see if I can make that work. But although he did write some great emails for me, none of my subscribers converted into a paid newsletter or on one of my paid courses or my book. So I'm thinking about ditching my newsletter altogether, making my website less cluttered and just removing that burden from my plate so I can focus on where I'm good at driving traffic from SEO. And hosting was $87, the office $38, and one time cost, like I said, $545. The tools I'm using are $176, and those are Zoic for access to the premium program, Genius Link to be able to monetize all my Amazon storefronts and add some extra affiliate programs as well, and this leaves a total of $176. With the cost of made over time decreased dramatically, I invested a lot in content more than a year ago, and the sites are still pretty stable. And I'm doing my own content right now, especially for the toy website and the revenue diversification from ads 50% and affiliate about 50%. So those are 50 50 right now. And affiliate revenue distribution Amazon US is the largest 43%, Bolton.com in there with 15%, and other Amazon storefronts with 40%. So it's still a little diversified, although it's leaning heavily towards Amazon, of course, but the other Amazon storefronts have their own commission structure. So if Amazon US decides to downgrade their program, chances are a few or a lot of the Amazon programs in Europe uh, will be unaffected. So it's still a little diversified here. In writing new content, we didn't publish any new articles in the last month, and that's because we've been focusing on writing new semantic connections and entities for my sites. So I can increase the top of authority. Now I've updated about 25 articles on my main site and I've removed about 20 more because they didn't fit the overall topic of the site enough. So far this has gotten me through all of the updates. And I think the semantic SEO and recreating the right connections here is the key for Google's success. So I'm going to focus on that some more and perhaps if I get the structure down completely, train a few more writers on this to get more content out there as well.